Maybe the only signs of life they're able to send are in a brief window before that world perishes. Still, no one has come. And no radio signals can be detected across our silent galaxy. Could civilizations ever cross thousands of light years and find more than alien graves? Maybe it's just pure luck that greed or catastrophe have not yet ended our species. Can we make the right choices? Might we learn from our mistakes? Will you overcome the Fermi paradox? Cool. Very cool. Love it. Love the Fermi Paradox. Fantastic. I'm ready to play. So, hello out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. I'm here with the Fermi Paradox, which, full disclosure, I did receive my copy of the game for free. And we are definitely going to play it because it looks amazing. Um, I'm ready to rock. Hold up. All right, let's jump into the Fermi Paradox. There we go. Welcome to the early access version. Try to develop the newly born civilizations of our galaxy so that it can send out radio signals as a first step towards establishing contact with each other. Reach at least a singularity age with sufficient enough civilizations to achieve galactic unity. This is a living game and some features are still in development. Stay tuned for regular updates. Cool. So the includes themes of atrocities i'm ready for some atrocities cool a new galaxy is born i'm ready to born the galaxy billions of stars are formed planets are taking shape and presto sentient beings grow into fully formed civilizations and then nuke each other into Armageddon. That's how they do it, man. That's how it works. Okay, what are we doing? You are the Galactic Gardener. Sapient life will evolve and prosper in our galaxy. Help these civilizations to grow and find each other in the vastness of space-time. Uh, but beware, sometimes you have to prevent them from destroying themselves. Yes, I would like to play the tutorial. All right, click on the star system to take a closer look. This one? Which one? Oh, this one. Okay, uh, these are synthesis flares. The game is always paused when flares are visible. Only if you collect one of those flares will space time continue. Okay, no saving... Uh, you will need to accumulate synthesis to make optimal choices in the future. Okay. A new civilization is born. With the passing of space time, new civilizations will emerge and existing ones will undergo major changes. Click on the button in the corner to start your first event. All right, Kepler system. Sapient life evolved on Kepler four. All right. A life form on the primordial world Kepler 4 has started making simple tools and has developed a rudimentary language, but which species will form a Stone Age civilization in the Kepler system? Many were increasingly of the opinion that they'd all made a big mistake in coming down from the trees in the first place. Douglas Adams. Nice. Okay. The first of many decisions to come. Click on the options to see which species could populate this planet. If you want to choose the balanced species, you have to spend synthesis. On the other hand, picking an unbalanced spe species will generate will generate a lot of synthesis. Choose wisely. Click on the... Con okay. So, unbalanced. These poisonous humanoid insects gather in large swarms. They dwell in the magmatic wastelands. Um, resourceful and competitive packs of tall, colorful snake people. They breed in the hot water. 
On a balance beat, the wonder. Gentle and big reptiles, they roam the wide always with a pleasant smile. Um, I don't know. Let's go with the unbalanced one, I guess. This is your first sapient species in the galaxy. Take good care of them. Others will evolve at a later time. You, as the galactic gardener, will be re responsible for them, too. To leave this stone age, this species has to gather more knowledge. Few people inhabit this planet. Greater numbers are more resistant to disasters. War can be the downfall of any society. People headed toward Utopia will handle the future crisis better than those heading towards Dystopia. Look, more flares! Okay, so this is cool. I'm liking I'm getting real, um... Oh my gosh, I was a teenage exocolonist vibes. Um, it's very cool. Uh, conserve the natural resources of this planet or generate some synthesis to use later or increase consumption to gain much more synthesis. Remember that the game is always paused when the flares are visible so you can take your time. Okay, so... Potential cat 400,000, ethical dystopia. So we can conserve the resources. Okay. So we conserved some resources. Civilization values can be changed in many ways. Tech level, population, resources. To increase or decrease the resource consumption. Oh. Did I increase resource consumption? Okay. Right, click the upwards navigation arrow to go back to the galaxy overview. The galaxy user garden will take a great amount of care and hard decisions have to be made so that all species can survive and flourish. Uh, yes. All right, so there's flares and I get to pick one. Vakai Hive's development event. A great war threatens Kepler. Only a few Vakai tribes know the secret of fire. The flame is protected by sacred fire keepers, but bands of warriors gather to obtain the precious red flower. Then the tribes, they came to steal their fire, and the wolves, they howled into the night as they fought a vicious, angry battle to save the power of warmth and light. Iron Maiden. Nice. So there's a battle. Um, right. So we can go total war and have 1.2 million casualties. Um, the flame wars cost many lives among the Vakai. Unafraid of the initial, the fires must eliminate the secrecy of fire by sharing knowledge. I mean, uh, can I not pick that one? Oh, I just, I have to, okay. I can pick that one. Conflict was resolved and kept the four when Firesmiths took inspiration from their treasured flame. Thus the flame came to symbolize peace as free exchange of knowledge became common practice between different tribes. Okay. So what is that? That's, hold on. How do we... No, no, okay. So that's reduce the amount of people. A once powerful hive falls on Kepler 4. Um, a territorial dispute is won by a band of Akai warriors. Yeah, the Vikai build an astonishing monument. I mean, can we go back out? We can. A minor Earth planet is formed from ice and debris in the Tau Ceti system. So time's passing while we're doing this. Okay. So we can go back in here and do stuff with them. Right? Okay, so we'll go back out, I guess. 
No sapient life, no sapient life. Oh, development event. I see. Alright, knowledge and Kepler. Excellent. The tribes of the Vakai tend to be led by sages and wise folk because of their historical knowledge and the connection to spirit and the lands of Kepler IV are seen as vital qualities. Motivated by a desire to perpetuate the secret, sacred dance of life for many generations beyond their own, these leaders observe, reflect, and make decisions based on experiential wisdom and unwavering intuition. All right. The elders of many coasts were irritated after the Blue Scale tribe chose to promote their songwalker as chieftain over their strongest warrior mother. Years later, every second Tiga in the many coasts wore blue scales without a single drop of blood having been spilled. Okay. So what are what are we deciding on here? Oh, those are getting. Uh, have persistently led their people toward harmony, enriching their lives by awakening content and celebrating diversity. Dead end. Uh, so what is this symbol here? I think, I think it just means science, right? There we go. Where will the gods lead us? Um, uh, the Vakai established a new sage hive. We'll come out here. A growing formicary expands on its influence. Okay. So it's sort of real time, some of it. Right. Okay, formerly popular species is exterminated by an aggressive predator on Earth. Jalice system. Oh, we're going somewhere. Sapient life on uh, evolved on Glias C. Oh, a life form on the desert planet Glias C has started making simple tools. Many were increasingly of the opinion that they'd all made a big mistake. Yeah, we got that. All right, another civil you will have to foster these creatures too, guide them in parallel with the other civilizations in the galaxy, and one day they make contact. Synthesis can, synthesis can be used to help any society. Sometimes you'll have to make hard choices to ensure the survival of everyone. It will cost 50 to make a balanced sea species. Oh, but it doesn't say. Oh, Peaceful observers, these gentle herds of four-legged horse-like roam the wide rock deserts. Um, always hungry, these nightmares avian rule the sky. <laughs> That's very funny. Well, we'll use some synthesis here. There we go. We spent some synthesis on these guys. There we go. They develop a new form of artist. Oh, Vakai Sage Hives. Enlightenment in Kepler. Oh. Gas and water trapped under the large molten magma lakes on, of Kepler 4 sometimes escape to the surface where they intermix with the lava. As they cool, they form bizarre shapes, and many Vakai wander the primal world to search for meaning in these rare, fragile sculptures, which unfortunately collapsed shortly after they were formed. Nature is the most accomplished artist. Yep. So what's going on? Oh. So we can do another civilization pillar for them. It's going to cost us our synthesis, though. There we go. So can we can we get out of here and not do any of those? Minor soul planet leaves and falls into the system of central star. Here we go. The prune mourned the death of a great wise person. A depleted land region recovers under the care of the prune planters. Oh, they're really nice, aren't they? Uh, a new form of artistic... Oh, new technological age. Oh, we reached the obsidian age. Good job, team. 
Kepler-4 experiences an agricultural revolution marked by the utili utilization of obsidian and other readily av available volcanic materials. Nice. The drones of our hive started digging out the glass of the gods. This was the beginning of our path to grow from a feeblish swarm and to become... Um, what? Um, to become the World Eater Empire. Oops. They want to become the World Eater Empire? That's, uh, that's a little bit much, guys. Maybe just chill out on that. Uh, oof. Thanks. Yeah, we'll go with advancement, I guess. They can now build stable sediments. Okay. Um... Promising new clan. Nice. Warn the death of the beloved leader. Oh, here we go. Development event. Depopulation and glee. What? The construction of prune clans consistently provides a perfect environment for a species of small, venomous animal. These pests prove nearly impossible to exterminate, and they begin to rapidly multiply in the walls of prune buildings. Uh, that very evening, Rabbit came to the rattlesnake and scratched him. Rattlesnake raised his head and bit Rabbit. The bites made Rabbit very sick. Coyote was sent to the sea for cool sand, but at last, Rabbit died. Oof. Okay, that's very bad, isn't it? Um... Right. I guess we go regular development. They will flee to the deserts. Will enemies from the beyond come to conquer our lands? No, it's fine. An ambitious prune herd conquers new territories. Depleted land region recovers under the care of the prune planters. Nice. Excellent. So we got them to the Obsidian Age. Oh, they reached the Copper Age. Good job, team. Good job, team. The Prune learned to mine copper using it to create precise metal tools. These tools make it possible to expand the reach of the natural oases using new irrigation and water recapture techniques. Meanwhile, wise folk begin to study the stars above, charting their course in great patterns drawn in the desert sands. The glass show... Sh uh, shush... Oh. Uh, died on our home world several millennia ago. We no longer have records from this time, but several excellent examples of copper jewelry were found preserved beneath the desert sands. Cool. Uh, the rare floor of the desert is carefully cultivated. The open doesn't offer a clear view. Alright, let's go with that. Sure. Oh, we, we're using the using the synthesis. Now build stable sediments. Uh, right. Yeah, got it. Cool. Lay down their horn blows and abandon the art of war. We'll go out here. Let's go see what the, uh, the Kai are up to. Oh, they've started to head towards Utopia. Um, but they are using up their... Okay, Paradigm Shift in Kepler. With city-states growing and rulers trying to unify their people, the concept of a single god becomes more and more attractive for the Vakai. Having people rally around one religion is deemed to be very effective to advance a society, and so monotheism is proclaimed in Kepler. We encountered a curious hive deep in one of the ash deserts. They not only pray to just a single magma guardian, but they have the audacity to believe that all of the deep guardians are just imaginary figments. Excellent. I like that. That's cool. Ooh, cultural ascent. Cultural descent. Um, well, we can't afford this. 
So I guess we choose the middle road. Ooh, they're growing. Um, we'll add those to their ethical values. And slay many Vakai. Oh, they're still growing so fast. Uh, recounting their history, right? Remarkable Priest is celebrated. Um, yeah, let's get them technologically advanced. We need less people. All right, let's go back out. Oh. Consumption in Glias. Man, they're just having a bad time. Prune builders learn to erect large barriers to stop the flow of water. These can be used to create reservoirs of drinking water, prevent floods, improve irrigation, or create fishing areas. Uh, right. However, they begin to consume more resources and risk destroying biodiversity. Not good. Our rivals were once very proud of the rich valleys where they built their ancestral homes. We're equally proud of the, how beautiful the lake that we have created there now. Okay. Okay, we don't want to destroy the biodiversity. We'll just do some regular development. That's fine. Um, we'll do the question mark. A powerful new war caravan. Are the gods watching us? Apparently. Oop. So, yeah, so we can develop places, and they'll develop on their own as well. Influential Vikai prosecute rises, rises to power. Um, sure. Yeah, so if you, click the th if you click the things out here, then it destroys a major plant species. Oh, there we go. So we're going to get uh, a civilization right. So it's all about where you want to spend your time. A life form on the ice planet Rigel 7 and started making simple tools. Cool. So it's the same quote every time. Um, the Dorla, sentient, resilient plants. They dwell deep under the ice, rise at nightfall to wander the surface to feed on other organisms for nutrients. Aggressive humanoid pig creatures. And a balanced species. A rational species of furry fish creatures. Um, let's go with the unbalanced plants. I like the I like the weird plant species. They're cool. Right. Um, nice. An influential Dorloth root rises to power. Oh, we got a development event with the Vakai. Reduction. Due to continuous developments within sedentary horticulture communities, more and more beautiful garden complexes are constructed all around Kepler IV. Okay. In physical and mental well-being that gardens can offer the Vakai. When we start to plant trees that never blossom in our lifetime, only then will our hive really grow. Nice. That's very sweet. That's very nice. I'm I'm really I'm really enjoying this, honestly. Oh. Um Yeah, let's spend it. Gardens are seen as an essential part of any healthy society. Yeah, let's let's build those beautiful gardens and get our um, get our years back up. Yeah, there we go. The work of remarkable priests is widely circulated. Great. New settlement is founded. Oh, new technological age. Nice. They've reached the steel age. Um, heat to refine metal ore. They start creating strong alloys to construct weapons, tool armor, and tool buildings. Uh, take your instinct by the reins. You're better best to rearrange. What we want and what we need has been confused. Been confused. Finest work song. Okay. I like the song quotes. That's fun. Oh, we can't afford it. Um... 
Yeah, we'll just go for advancement and increase our resource scarcity. All right. Oh, where's our other... Where's our other planet? Oh, these guys. Um, yeah. Okay. So we made two unbalanced species and one, like, wise one. Okay, those guys are a bit boring. Uh -huh. Are there beings like us beyond our world? Mm. Oh, development at prune gatherings. Alright, I'm ready. Mm, yeah. Man, this is very cool. Hardened by the life of in the desolate waste, one gathering creates an elite group of desert archers known as the Sandstalkers. Stealthy and deadly, the Sandstalkers are known for extraordinary feats of patience and discipline, sometimes burying themselves in the sand for days at a time before leaping out to strike. When you take your stand along the Maker's Path, you must remain utterly still. You must think like a patch of sand. Hide beneath your cloak and become a little dune in your very essence. Nice. So these are the prune. Uh, I think, uh, we can, we can have them have a little bit of harm potential. I'd rather save the, but let's increase their technology, because these are definitely the, the most balanced ones. Oh, they've got so many copper deposits. That's really funny. Um, nice. Right, new technological age. Here we go. What are they going to go into? The glass age. Interesting. New techniques are discovered to create a special form of hardened glass. It can be used for a variety of uses. More advanced tools, simple machinery, and even weapons are made from this new material. Soon great cities begin to rise among the endless dunes. Those who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones, right? Um, advancement. Or we'll go wisdom. Wisdom is fine. We will hold on to the synth synthesis. And we'll... Animal species on the earth for, forms uh, complex social structures. Oh yeah, these guys. How are these guys even doing? Are they okay? I feel like they're maybe not doing okay. Where's my Where's my Dorloth scrubs? What are these guys up to? Uh, right, they're not They're not doing so hot. Once powerful scrub falls. Right, development event. Good. Injustice in Rigel. The Dorloth come to believe that nightmares are messages sent by mighty spirits in order to receive more such sacred messages. Some Dorloth begin deliberately traumatizing children. Wow. Okay, atrocities are happening. That's bad. Shortly after the practice begins, it becomes clear that traumatized children often experience severe mental health issues, some even turning psychotic and violent. Yeah, let's let's put a stop to that. That seems bad. Yeah. New resource management. Um, oh god. Man, these guys are just bad. Well, they're not bad, they're just not they're not really fitting in with the rest of the team. Everyone else is sorting stuff out, guys. Compose an epic poem. Nice. We'll increase their ethical values. Maybe maybe increasing their tech will help? Okay. Extinction? What? Triggered by vermin carrying invisibly small disease in the cities of the Vakai become breeding grounds for a terrible plague. No! This is my first, guys. Hmm. 
Minimal survivors. We'll try for 178 million Vakai lives lost. Jeez. So, they survived. Man, that's bad, but I didn't have the synthesis to, like, save them. Ooh, I'm getting the- I'm getting the real evil music going. It's bad. Okay. The spirits look on us with kindness. Not at the moment, team. Remarkable wise person is celebrated. Right? Man, that was- that was a bad event. Um, growth and okay, so so the the good team is doing well. In order to travel more safely, merchants begin to band together into larger teams. Right, these trading gamers traverse the open lands, exchanging goods and ideas from all corners of the planet. The dogs bark, but the caravan moves on. So these guys are doing well. Um, we'll just go with. Regular development. Yeah, these guys are doing fine. Um, alters the climate on Earth. Um, right? These guys were so good. Uh, Vakai holy ballads represent harmony. I mean, they were doing well. These guys were... Oh. Okay. Let's raise their ethical values again. I think that maybe they had a bad time. Because they all died in an uh, apocalypse. Like 178 million of them. Great War threatens Rigel. Once the cycle starts to change on Rogers 7, warming regions of the planet, melting ice, revealing valuable tracts of land. Multiple scrubs claim these territories as their own. There was much ballyhoo over which clan owned the Great Salt Flats, though none of them had legal documents to back up their claims. So our wise lawgivers added decrees to the books that all disputed lands were the property of the Empress, and the matter was ended immediately. <laughs> of course. Um, we can just go for a little regular conflict. So that cost us some resources. Let's put some of those resources back. Yeah, there we go. New technological age. Good job, team. The excavation age. Begin to hollow out grace ice caves, burying deep to the, down to the soil where they can cultivate plants and keep permanent stocks of herd animals. Right. Uh, many chains come. Written language, astronomy, philosophy, and crude networking all take their first steps. Cool. Um, wisdom. We gotta move these guys towards Utopia. They can now carve stable regions. It is difficult, though. These guys are very hard to look at. They establish a new republic. Great. And they're about to run out of materials as well. Grow to fear their ruthless consuls. Ugh. Reach the dune ship age. Prune begin to spread across the desert world of uh, Glia Sea on great dune ships, skipping across the sands at unheard of speeds. These new vessels greatly expand the reach of their dune cities, opening up new possibilities for trade. Cool. The dune ships carry wine and glass and gold, yes, but more than that, they carry knowledge. See, these guys are doing really well. Everyone else is just having a, a bit of a bad time. Um... 
advancements. Oh, we've got, they've got so many resources. Look at this. This place is rich. We'll just go with wisdom, man. Okay. Yeah. Solar collision generates rare elements in the solar space region. Right, here we go. Develop development event. Consumption. Ugh. Are people sicken again? So commissions a city made of brilliantly colored glass. It is a massive project intended to be a monument to the beauty for the ages. Oh, cool. You believe in the Crystal Palace? Eternally indestructible. That is one at which you can never stick out your tongue furtively nor make a rude gesture, even with your fist hidden away. Right. I'm ready. Massive consumption. Uh, right, but we can have it. Or... We've got quite a lot of time. Let's go that one. Ooh, that took out like 400 years worth of our stuff. Don't like them apples. Mourn their who died during the Great Plague. Oh, they remember. That's that's really fun, actually. Ethic value increased. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go see what they're up to. These guys. These guys are a problem. Come on, team. Ugh. I'm trying to bring their ethics in line, but they're just, they don't like it. Spot when scrubs were sent to claim it. Right. So there's lots of stuff happening. Growth in Rigel. Harsh weather changes cause many Doloth tribes to seek out warmer and more fertile lands. In the process, they spread regional culture. Cool. Love it. Mm. So we can make them... We'll just do regular development. We don't want lots of them. They don't have that much stuff. Oof, that's bad. Okay, this is all going bad. Okay, we're established new resource management methods. Oh, excellent. Yeah, give me some more resources. Oh, jeez. Um, yeah. God, these guys need so much help. I definitely should not have uh, made these guys unbalanced. That was a bad idea. Uh, then... Vex system. Oh, I've got an evolution event. Nice. Uh, started making simple tools, right? Alright. What have we made? Who have we got? Complex network of deep canyon stretches across the surface of Vexus. Uh, the Demonies. Right. Intelligent rock climbing plants okay let's go with those guys we'll, we'll spend some synthesis on them and then we'll see All right the Dorloth have, uh, have moved up that's cool they've reached a new technological age excellent Massive areas of ice are melted down and kept clear for large, sophisticated settlements. As more ground is exposed, intensive mining can begin, along with the finely crafted tools that come with advanced metallurgy. Okay. Cool, so we're doing some intense metallurgy. Love it. I've got just enough to help them gain some wisdom. That's really good. To melt away large areas of the ice, creating large cities. Oop. 
Extinction? No! What? Prune exhibition are infected by parasites trapped in the ice. Uh, bear beef, immensely good. Meat, one hour in seawater, then all well. Sledge is broken. Iron sheathing is experiment. Mending and examination of weight and considerable reduction. Strange feeling and great indulgence in food on making reduction. Uh, jeez. I like these guys. I'll try that one. It says most of them are going to die. How many are left? Oh, they're, go they're going down. No. Okay. Oh, they've got negative growth. This is bad. Uh, no. Okay, this is very bad. The Prune are gonna die. Power and Kepler. Handheld ranged weapons capable of penetrating heavy armor invented by the Vakai. Right? When Mr. Safety Catch is not on, Mr. Crossbow is not your friend. Nice. Uh, the mechanics of the crossbow are unreliable and often fall under bad weather conditions. They are quickly abandoned by the Vakai. Yeah, let's do that. No, I don't... I need to, I need to be helping... Um... These guys, jeez. Um. We need people. Okay, the prune are dying. The dirigible age, cool. Dirigibles are awesome. The Vakai and Kepler-4 managed to construct lighter-than-air vessels filled with buoyant gases to safely traverse the otherwise impassable tracks of lava. Cool. Forward, my neonates. Let's conquer the sky. Let's fly away from these caustic grounds and let the, these fantastic balloons carry us to new promised land. Excellent. Um, war dirigibles. I could make war dirigibles. Ugh. I just need some synthesis, man. Sorry, it's war digital time. Okay. Yeah. No. Give me my prune give me my prune people back. There we go. Um A new worm assembly. Right? I don't Okay. No, I don't care about the Abori. I mean, they're cool. But I'm just letting them develop on their own. In the Bronze Age, the Abori begin testing the limits of their planet's generosity by cultivating crops, raising animals for food, and clearing forests in order to build primitive cities. Cool. I mean, that is cool. Um... Defense becomes increasingly necessary as the board begin exerting more power over one another, and hunting bands evolve into primitive armies. Uh, we'll just pick that one. No, sorry, I'm not. I'm not hanging with you. I gotta keep my worm assemblies alive, or try to. Mourn the death. What is that? Is that a minus? I can't even tell. Yeah, it was a minus. And abandon the art of war. Nice. Great. There's only 50,000 of you. You're like nearly below minimum viable product. Depopulation. 
Uh, crowded living conditions in these new urban centers lead to the spread of diseases and infections. Um, many Doraloth die an early death. Mankind, which began in a cave and behind a windbreak, will end in the disease-soaked ruins of a slum. Okay, I guess we get to decide. Um... I mean, we can just go with prevention. It doesn't cost us anything to do that. Nope, we gotta go back. We gotta go back to the Prune Warm, assemb warm Assemblies. Mm. Cause suffering and despair among the Prune. Don't care about that. Mm. Right. Ugh. Man, the Dorloth are doing really well. But I think they're kind of evil. Doroth learned how to break off great ice flows from the mainland, using them to transport large numbers across the oceans of Rigel. Science leaps forward with the first rationalist proposing bold new explanations for the world they do not rely on religion. Cool. We can't afford that. We'll just go with advancement. Well, at least they're not going to run out of resources for another thousand years. That's, uh, important. Um, aha! Oh, I just need to get it to positive growth. Come on. One more growth one. Come on, buddy. Uh... Nope. Oh, we got a development event. What is our develop reduction? What are we redu What are we reducing? Telegraphic network spanning the entirety of Jil is invented. This revolution is in communication allows for the rapid dissemination of ideas and news, as well as greatly reducing the needs for costly travel. Uh, right. Except for that, <laughs> there's only like fifty thousand of them. They are, there's thirty. There's forty eight thousand of them. They all live in the same place, man. Um, yeah, let's, let's get some synthesis out of that at least. Um, right. Our growth set 0, 0. 0.0. Nice. So we're stable population. There we go. Let's get some growth going. Yay! Okay, so we're no longer at a negative uh, growth. Let's come out here and get some other stuff going on. Um, displacing the ocean current affects weather systems on Earth. How are the Makai doing? Oh, they've got a development event. Cool. Knowledge. University districts are constructed in every major Vakai city, maintaining high standards of education and academic output. Yeah. Nice. So the Vakai are doing well. So we saved the Vakai from their plague. And now they're growing. Oh. Yeah, let's go civilization pillar. Um, so producing some of the world's greatest minds and rulers. Excellent. Alright, so they're doing really well. Um, let's check in on the Dorloth. They're still quite evil, aren't they? Um, okay. Right. Mourn the death of a beloved sovereign. Yeah. All right. Well, let's let them grow a little bit. Once dominant species goes extinct, oh, increase their ethic value. Nice age drastically alters the climate on Earth. 
Oh, here we go. These are the guys that we've just been leaving to their own paradigm shift. So they're, they're making a god. Has been flourishing for many years, but a sudden shift of tectonic plates of the garden planet causes the great sediments to begin slowly sinking into the ocean. Right? I feel the earth move under my feet. I feel the sky tumbling down, a tumbling down. Right? Uh oh. Cultural ascent, cultural descent. Um. I mean, that's probably right. They've got 44,000 44, years worth of stuff. Oh. Oh, that's fine. They still have 14,000 years worth of stuff. Those guys can just hang out. Yeah, once powerful worm assembly. Um. Yeah. Yeah, the Dorloth need the Dorloth probably needs some help here. Man, they really are kind of a dangerous species, aren't they? Let's give them some more resources. Reach the industrial age. Uh excellent. We're in the industrial age. Love it. The Vakai start to study electricity, steam power, and machine manufacturing in the industrial age. Harnessing the power of radio waves might allow them to send signals into outer space. But the civilization could accidentally eradicate itself as weapons development thrusts forth. Interference with the planet poses a serious threat to the ecosystem that has sustained the vacaity through the ages. Modern bourgeoisie society, it, with its relations of production, of exchange, and of property... A society that has conjured up such gigantic means of production and of exchange is like the sorcerer who is no longer able to control the powers of the netherworld whom he has called up by his spells. Karl Marx. Nice. Alright, so we can try and make them less dangerous. Oh, we're going to run out of resources uh, we'll go wisdom and hope that that works these guys need some help um, through industrial production to fossil fuels and mineral resources deep below the surface of Kepler oh we're about to run out of we're about to run out of resources on Antediluvians reach the Iron Age. Who are the Antediluvians, man? Empires and trading states arise to power in the Iron Age. The metalworking Antediluvians forge tools and develop the skills needed to create simple machinery. While expanding theological discourse could provide them with a sense of purpose and moral compass, organized religion also has the potential to bring about great atrocities. Okay. Um... Right. We'll just go with that one for now. No, nope. let's come out here. Yeah, the Vakai are going to run out of resources, man. Uh oh, injustice. It's injustice time. A leading thinker of the Dorloth territory suggests that it is impossible to prove if gods, a soul, or an afterlife exist. The idea is profoundly influential in Dorloth society, enough so that it inspires some among them to dramatically change their lives. If there is a god, he is infinitely incomprehensible, since having neither parts nor limits, he has no affinity to us. We are then incapable of knowing either what he is or if he is. Right? Like that quote? That's a good quote. Uh... We'll just go regular development. Jeez. They just got... Man, they just keep slipping... They just keep slip sliding into evil, don't they, man? Um... Yeah, these guys are gonna die in 19 years. 
Nine years. But that didn't do anything. They're growing too fast. Resource crisis. Okay. So what's going on? Coal fields are becoming scarce in the Kepler system. The effects of glass manufacturing brought the Vakai to breaking point. While they are dealing with the resource scarcity, will the Sage Republics find ways to prevent the complete exhaustion of their environment, or will they turn against each other? It is uncanny how aware most extinct sapient species were of the point of no return, regardless whether they started burning down their last primeval spores, or depleting all the valuable asteroids in their solar system, so many just marched on toward their downfall. Can I help them? Uh, right. Chance for decline, 46% Bakai ethic value. Chance of hostility, 51. 38.1 million casualties. I don't know, we'll try this. We've got the synthesis for it. Conservation in Kepler. Yay! To counter the scarcity of local of coal fields in Kepler, the agricultural architects of the Makai are taking control of their sage republics. Right? Saving our planet, lifting people out of poverty, advancing economic growth. These are the, one in the same fight. So did we, did we do it, or? Resources exhausted in 100 years. Right, so I needed more. I mean, that's not bad. We're doing okay. Prune worm assemblies. Oh, these guys are back? Enlightenment, right. Death becomes a central part of the culture of Prune. It becomes accustomed to praise the dead and graveyards grow into places of reverence. Nice. Uh, beings are ablaze with the sufferings of sickness and old age, and with no defense against the conflagration of death, the bewildered seeking refuge in worldly existence spin round and round like bees trapped in a jar. Cool. How are my little prunes doing? They're growing at 2%. Love that. Um, sure. Okay, yeah. They can just keep growing real slow. Um, and then we'll come back to the Vakai. Ooh, there we go. Massive earthquake wipes some of them out. Yeah, there we go. We needed to slow them down. And maybe increase their tech. No. Right. Okay, that's cool. Ooh, more resources is always good. Um, oh, more, remove, reduce the growth. There's just way too many of them, man. Way too many of them. Oh, the, the, the Dorloth, who I haven't checked in, in on a while. Right, yeah, so they're in the industrial age now as well. And we're keeping people, we're keeping people up, man. We're keeping them alive. Oh, but they're about to have a resource scarcity problem as well. I mean, I haven't been able to get their ethical values high enough anyway. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take some synthesis from them. They they can go to war. The Dorloth are just that's just a, a lost cause. But these guys, they are not a lost cause. Oop. See, these guys are Utopia styles. And these guys are over here just, oh, great war, right? A dominant religious faction of the Antediluvians is claiming the right to invade a distant holy land. They gather many allies to challenge the alleged heathens who live in the divine country of Vexus. Armies of volunteer peasants and honor-bound knights swelling with pious pride and bearing sacred symbols on the banners and thus embark on a glorious pil pilgrimage. I, or rather the Lord, beseech you as Christ's heralds to publish this everywhere and to purse all people of whatever rank, foot soldiers and knights, 
poor and rich to carry aid promptly to those Christians and to destroy that vile race from the lands of our friends. Moreover, Christ commands it. Oof, that's pretty gross. Uh, right. Ooh. Many religious splinter factions emerge from the fringes and reconquer the land from previous crusaders. No, they're really nice, right? That would actually that would absolutely hose them. We'll just go with peace. No, I don't. They they can just keep developing normally. I want to focus on my boys, the Vakai. They're doing all right. We're slowly uh, fighting back. What was that one? Well, oh, they hit a new technological age. Yes, the nuclear age. Excellent. Begins to take off the race for space dominance among the emergency powers of Kepler 4 is on. Jet planes increase the potential for travel all over the globe, and nuclear age communication technology allows news and entertainment to spread via mass media. Uh oh. Now I'm become death, the destroyer of worlds, of course. Oh, we go through we jump to 381 years. I love it. Uh we'll just go with advancement. Nice. Okay, so they're doing alright now. Should we check in on the Dorloth? I think they're doing really poorly. Oh, that fizzed out. Um, 99 years, right? Oh. Okay. Oh, we got a... So these guys are still around. They're developing some knowledge. Oh, and store and manipulate data. With wearing gears and dazzling numbers, the enormous clockwork computers run on steam power. <laughs> Steampunk, love it. That's very cool. We both went to see the thinking machine, or so it seems, last Monday. It raised several uh, nose to the second and third power. Oh, numbers. And extracted the root of a quadratic equation. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, let's, let's, uh, boost them ahead. There's just not enough of them to, to actually make it do anything. Yeah. Uh, how's the how are the Vakai doing? They got four hundred years left. Yep. Yeah. Let's go check out our other guys. What is that over there? Okay. Nice. New scientific insights. So what happens if I go out? That's still there. Okay. Reduce the Vakaya population. So there's different... Yeah, here's the resource. We knew the resources crisis was coming for these guys. Um, right. Yep, I'm ready. Chances of hostility, 67. Right. Simple rifles and fight over access to the remaining coal fields. Yeah. The Dorloth have always just been bad. Let's have them fight it out. They can, uh, they can shoot each other in the face. I mean, that works for me. There we go. Uh, 
All right, so we gotta go to the Antediluvian Kingdom. Stuff's happening. Oh, extinction time. Massive tsunamis. Like endless boiling water, the flood is pouring forth destruction. Boundless and overwhelming, it overtops hills and mountains rising and ever rising. Cool. Um, I mean, these guys are pretty nice, right? Let's go close call. Okay. So, uh, that's about an hour. So, I think what we might do is just leave it. Um, obviously, this is great. Uh, I'm just gonna... We, we won't go look at the description. I, you know, we've already been talking about this game for an hour. It's amazing. I love it. I'm definitely addicted. I'm gonna play a lot more of this. Um, and I think it currently costs $23.59 on Steam, so click on the link in the description uh, down below and you can pick up this game for yourself. Uh, like the video.